I was on Facebook taking a much needed break from the 8-Bit Doe Ultimate Pro Controller review and I came across an ad that caught my eye. A new handheld coming to the market, which isn't a surprise because there seems like there's always a new handheld coming to the market. Steam Deck, Aya Neo, GPD Win, Odin, but this one was just a little different and it had one really cool feature. So let's take a look. <laughs> God, that echo in here sucks. I wish there was something I could do about it. The Nightwing. Step into the future. Don't just play video games. Project them. Immerse yourself in the game like never before with the Nightwing. This dangerously fun gaming handheld makes all the rest obsolete with the built-in projector and gamer-focused design. So apparently this thing is so fun, it's dangerous. And I'm not entirely sure what gamer focused design is, but they definitely included that. Be quick, stocks are limited, so they're already going with FOMO on this one. Apparently it's got five hour battery life, battery life, seven to nine hours streaming, beastly performance. <laughs> It has an AMD Ryzen 7 6800U processor, room for all your games, with 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5 memory and a micro SD card slot, just to name a few features. If you look over here, honestly, it, it the handheld looks pretty cool, but it also looks kind of awkward. It doesn't look like it would be rather comfortable to hold in the hands. It's going with this Nintendo Switch style thing, which a lot of people have adopted now with the detachable controllers. And here's the feature that not a lot of handhelds have, which is a built-in projector, gives you a big screen gaming experience anywhere. I mean, that's kind of cool depending on how good the projector actually is. Nightwing's built-in projector and stand lets you project an 80-inch 1080p resolution picture anywhere so friends and family can play with you or watch you crush. <laughs> Skip the monitor, cords, and clunky setup. Stream movies for everyone, not just you. The most immersive experience a handheld can deliver. With Nightwing, you don't just play the game, you feel it, hear it, and experience it with state of the art everything. As I said, it has a 7 inch IPS multi touch screen, crisp picture with 80p native landscape, which is the same resolution that's in the Steam Deck. Play indoors or Broad daylight with 500 nit peak brightness. Double motor vibration with six axis gyroscope gravity sensor. Precision joysticks, no drifting. <laughs> Button burst function to support semi-automatic or fully automatic burst. 2.0 spatial, <laughs> spatial speaker, which I was reading a little up on spatial speakers and it simulates surround sound. Play all your favorite AAA games and store them and store them. Nightwing never limits you to games from a specific store and there's room for all your games with ultra fast 16 gig LP DDR5 memory and a micro SD slot for any aftermarket cards. Play all your favorite AAA games and store them Nightwing. Please tell me in the comments whether I'm reading that wrong or it, it, it is awfully written. Play any single or multiplayer game that runs on Windows 11. So the Nightwing comes stock with Windows 11. Easy packing with pop in, pop out joystick. So apparently the joysticks deliberately go in and out. Nightwing's joysticks pop in to go flush with the surface so it's effortless. Ah, I get it. All right. I wonder, I mean, they're saying that there would never be any drift because of the precision joysticks, but I wonder after time of pushing that thing in, 
would it actually break? Guidelines for users. The only thing I'd like to point out is it has trackpads and I, I'm curious as, as to whether those work as well as the ones on the Steam Deck. Unlimited fun with removable controllers and three play modes. Mode one. In this mode, you will be able to use the console like a steering wheel. Mode two. In this mode, you can co-op or play versus a friend using the same system. Controllers are removable so that each player can have a separate controller. That's pretty much an Nintendo Switch. Apparently these controllers are magnetic so they don't clip on rails like the Nintendo Switch so that's kind of different. And then you got mode 3. If you are a fan of retro games, this mode is definitely for you. In this mode, you can play retro games that use or support portrait mode for their display. I, I kind of like that, especially if you're playing shooters. And here's the overall specs, which I don't really have to go through most of this because we've already done that. The only thing to point out here is it's got Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. It has a 512 gig M.2 NVMe sp speed. I mean, okay. You didn't really have to put speed after that. And it says super fast charging and a cooling fan. I would hope that in something like this, there would have been a cooling fan included. So not something you really need to point out in the specs list. I don't know, personally, I'd like to know what you guys think of the Nightwing. Is it something that you might pick up? Personally, for me, I think it's a cool concept. It's kind of cool to have a projector in there. Instead of having to lug a handheld and a projector, if you're gonna go outside and play this on the side of the house, which is it's kind of fun, but it, uh, in handheld mode, it looks kind of awkward to hold those controllers don't look like they're ergonomic or comfortable by any means it's a cool concept i would love to get one of these in my hands unfortunately the funds will not allow me to get this uh, I, I, and honestly my channel is not big enough for nightwing to send me a review unit i'm looking forward to seeing other youtubers reviews because i probably won't have it if you're interested to see if i do get my hands on this and do a full review don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All the links to any of the products discussed in this video, which is only the Nightwing, are linked in the description down below. I also have a link of things that I use to produce these videos, camera, lighting, laptop, you, you know. The whole plethora of gear used to record these videos are linked in the description down below. Don't forget, if you'd like to see other great gaming content from Weedeem, there are links to all our socials down below as well. A lot of ev everything is down in the description if you need it go check it out as for now i'll see you in the next one hey guys instead of staring at my ugly mug why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos one two i'll wait my busted face ain't going nowhere